Good morning all, I hope everybody is well. <coughs> well, <coughs> excuse me, I've been threatening it for a while. I haven't done a pipe sale for quite a bit. So we're doing one this morning. Before we get started, this morning I'm smoking the, one of the pipes that started it all for me, and that's a 78606. And this is a St. Nicholas um, from 20, I think it's 2016 or 2015. It's a nine mil. Uh, this is way before I went over to nine mils, um, but I just bought it not knowing much about pipes at the time. And it's a nine mil, which is cool. And I'm drinking a coffee with hedgehogs and kisses. Mmm, yum. Mmm. In it, I've got some, a rare aromatic for me. Don't smoke them very much these days. Bat with a hat. Okay. Right, I'll try and get through this as quickly as possible. So, first one is a pipe you've all seen before. It's a Wally Frank. Very, very nice pipe. It's got some nice grain on it. Let me just move the angle of the light so you can see that better. says on it there straight grain beautiful condition a very nice pipe Wally Frank comes in its original sock and this one is just 45 pounds has actually been on before but uh, there we go next one is a 9mm pipe um, so I'm going to move the angle down so it focuses better, less distractions. Next one is a Soren Rechberg. Um, this is a beautiful sandblasted freehand. Nice wind grain on it. Um, I had a new stem made, a new Cumberland stem, a real Cumberland stem made by Ian Walker of Northern Briars and this is 9mm, I had that converted it's a lovely pipe, smokes very well I just don't smoke it often enough to warrant uh, holding on to it so this one is £75 very very nice pipe um, and the price really just helps me recoup the cost of the stem and the cost of the pipe originally um, not quite as much as I paid, but um, when I consider the cost of the stem, but still. A lovely, lovely Soren Refberg pipe, which will, you know, some of these are going to start to get quite rare because he's retiring. The next one is a, an Escorti. Um, a very nice square shanked Rhodesian, in very, very nice condition. It's got the typical Italian style rustication. It's Escorti Business KS. And it's got this uh, sort of staggered cut stem, and this is 9mm as well. It's got a nice little wooden insert there, I don't know which wood it is, if it's briar or it looks like it is, but in any event, in very nice condition. I will clean them up um, before they go out, so if there's any charring and stuff like that which is removable I will make sure that it is cleaned thoroughly beforehand um, as I say it's in very nice condition all around so that's the Escorti and this one is £95 um, these Escortis go for hundreds of pounds um, ok this is obviously an estate one but £95 is a good price. Next one is one of my old favourite pipes. Um, this is a pipe by Boswell, which was a custom made pipe for me. Um, this was made in 2016. 
and the only reason why I'm selling this is because I've actually sent this to Ian Walker to get it converted to 9mm and he wasn't confident uh, in doing it. Um, square shanks sometimes can be problematic as I saw myself on that Amarelli pipe that I received with a cracked square shank. Uh, in any event, it's a very very nice pipe nice pearlescent uh, swirly stem I just loved the whole this style of uh, rustication on the top and really nice grain on the pipe itself nice so nice straight grain there and some bird's eye over there um, and just a lovely bulldog it's really lightweight very easy to clench um, it's just an all-round fantastic pipe and this one is 75 pounds um, a nice, nice tapered chamber there. Smokes very, very well. It's a fantastic pipe. I can attest to that. If I could convert it, I would definitely keep it. I would have kept it definitely. No question about that. Next one is a Dunhill cherry wood in superb condition. Absolutely phenomenal condition. It's got a beautiful sand blast on it really nice sort of like a spider's web almost going around there lovely lovely sandblast nice stain on the top clean stem and this is from 2012 and this one is 220 220 for the Dunhill next one is a Savinelli. This is a 9mm 606 mocha with a Cumberland stem, with a proper Cumberland stem, which I will polish out. Very, very nice pipe. Nice bright Cumberland stem there. Excellent condition, as, you, as you'd expect. Very, very sharp and tight on the rustication. There's no sort of worn out bits. And this one is seventy pounds. Next up, we have a Nording, which I do need to clean. I should have done that before I put it up. Sorry. Um, this is a freehand Danish style. It's being a Nording, it would be, but it's got some stunning grain, straight grain, all the way around. It's a beautiful pipe, nice contrast staining, Cumberland stem, I will clean that up, nice uh, bird's eye on the top there, really is a great pipe and that one is £90 for the Nording. Next one is a pipe you have seen before, which is an Edwards freehand. This is a pipe I bought from Joe Case. This is from his collection. Um, beautiful. It's really virtually a new condition. It's a stunning pipe. Nice and lightweight. I had a new stem made for it because the other one had oxidized. Again, by Ian Walker of Northern Briars. A Cumberland stem. Proper Cumberland stem. Very, very nice pipe. Algerian briar. Um, it's got a beautiful silky smooth draw, I do remember that. Um, and this one is just £55, an absolute bargain. What a bargain! Next up is the Astley, which you have seen before. It's an Astley, I've reduced the price now. Um, it's a new unsmoked old stock Astley pipe, very sought after, the Astley uh, brand, uh, made in London does need a bit of polishing um, lovely Cumberland stem it's got a beautiful shape on the sort of stem and shank there it's a scoop lovely bent beautiful for clenching and this one is just 110 pounds new unsmoked nicely bit of English history bit of London history next up is another Astley which you have seen it's um, this one is really in my view this is a collector's item um, this is um, Astley's Got Leswood 
silver turning on there. The band is a Leswood band. Cumberland stem. Beautiful, bright, sharp Cumberland stem. And the rim, fantastic, sharp, straight edged, which is what caught my eye originally. I love a flat, straight edge, a sharp cut, straight edge on a, on a, on a, on a rim of a pipe. Um, this one is new as well, old stock obviously, unsmoked. Um, and this one is 205, 205 pounds. This is a real, a real stunning piece. Um, next one is the Albatross, which still hasn't gone, the Brybird Albatross, and I've reduced that further to 55 pounds. An absolute steal, beautiful pipe to lightweight, smokes very, very well. Got that Albatross craggy edge there on the edge of the shank in fantastic condition. Um, yeah, 55 pounds. It's a steal as well. Um, these are all, I've, I've priced these a lot lower than I have in the past. Um, especially the ones that have been sitting around for a while and that haven't sold. Next one is a Winslow. This is a, quite a recent purchase, but don't know why, I just don't smoke it as much. Um, this is a really curiously faceted pipe. Um, it's a Winslow Crown Viking. Some nice rustication on it. Some nice grain. Plateau top. It comes with the uh, Crown of Denmark bag. And this is a 9mm. So, um, this one... I mean, it's, it's pretty much a new condition, virtually new condition. Might be a little bit of marking on, on the stem, but not much. But as I say, I'll clean out wherever I can. Um, and this one's just £100. Um, you know what, I'll reduce that to 95 So the Winslow, I'm just marking it down to 95 Scott Hudson poker again. You've seen this before, but I'm reducing it once again. Um, comes in this lovely bag, really heavyweight bag. Um, this is this was custom made for me, but it's not filtered, so um, I'm not going to smoke it. And I don't want to mess around with it by converting it. It's a stunning pipe. I had lots of extras put into this, um, lots of sort of exotic woods and things like that, brass ring. Um, and it also had a matching tamper made. So this is a custom made set, Scott Hudson, and I'm selling this for 195 less than I paid for it. Um, next up is an exceptional Northern Briars pipe. This is also a custom ordered pipe. Um, I had a seven day set of this um, style of a Cumberland stem silver band and uh, sort of good quality smooth grainy kind of bowl but because a lot of them I couldn't convert so I've passed some of them on. Some of them I've managed to convert um, but the rest I've been selling. So this one is an absolute stunner. Beautiful grain. Absolute stunning pipe, it really is. Lovely Cumberland stem, brand new and smoked. That's just the uh, tarnish on the silver, which we'll polish out. And this Northern Brise is £165. You can get them cheaper from Ian, but you'd have to wait two, three months for that. Um, and you can't always guarantee what the quality of the grain is going to be. This happens to be a particularly nice example. Um, Okay, next we've got some accessories. Next up is a pair of Dunhill table lighters. These are vintage. Um, this one, part of the handle is broken off, and I don't have that. Um, so you can see that's uh, Dunhill. But I'm selling them as a pair. These routinely sell about £140 each, £120 each. Um, I did. It's been a while since I've played around with these. I did manage to get one of them working. 
um, but so they're collector's items they're not really um, the the way the action works is there is a uh, a wick there and you fill up at the bottom and when you open it it, it this action fires it with the, the, the workings in there there's a flint in there somewhere um, but it's it's not being sold as a working lighter but as far as I know they do work they just need servicing um, you, you'll need to have the wick um, and possibly the flint replaced but other than that as far as I know they work but I'm selling them as they are and I'm selling these um, as a pair for £110 that one on its own is worth more than that but price to sell um, next we have the Stubby Dublin again it's a, a, a recent purchase it's in fantastic condition this was bought from you by myself it was bought retail this is an absolutely gorgeous downhill pipe it's a 9mm beautiful Cumberland stem phenomenal grain absolutely beautiful ring grain on the pipe nice staining nice grain on the top gorgeous pipe you can see why I was taken by it but again it just doesn't get smoked so I'm not a hoarder of pipes um, this one is 260 way below what I paid for it 260 for the stubby Dublin next up we have some lighters this is a Sarome lighter I think it's Japanese again these are all vintage um, so while some of them will light now when I, if I try it I'm not guaranteeing the operation um, I have had them working I'll just try and get some uh, gas into that there you go it is a pipe lighter so it's angled down um, so this is the Sarum is £50 it's fully boxed in its original box and let me just see if there's anything of interest that you might want to see Sarum Japan there you go That's £50. Next up is a Savinelli. This is an Iron Corona um, lighter. I think it's silver plated, but I'm not entirely sure. But it looks quite tarnished. Um, it looks to be hardly used. It comes in an original box. You can see it was bought from Ewan Reese some time back. Still got the original sticker. works again I'm selling it as it is I can't guarantee the functionality of it and it has a built-in tamper very very nice pipe lighter obviously and on the bottom you can see it says on it right in the top there top of the screw IM that tiny little I am there, which means it's the I am Corona, and it's made for Savonelli. You got the I am there as well. There you go. Um, I think it would be hard pressed to find one in this condition, boxed like that. Um, and this one is ninety pounds. It's a collectible item, no question. Being a Savonelli, it definitely raises the price. Next up, we're nearly done. Next up is a Wilkinson Swords pipe tool. 
tackle this Wilkinson's uh, Smoker's Knife. Beautiful piece. It's a very sharp looking item. So you've got a tamper on the bottom there. And we have a pick on one side and a pretty sharp knife on the other side. And it's, the springs are all really sharp and work very well. A nice piece. And this one is £25. Cheap. Um, to be honest, I'd rather this got sold together with something else. For £25, the postage may not make it worth it. We'll see. Um, next up is a Dunhill cigarette or cheroot holder. Um, it's made out of Cumberland. Um, it may have been used. I can't quite make it out. I can't see any bite marks as such. Um, but this is it's vintage, so I can't really give you any real sort of information on it. It says on the back, made in England. I can't quite make out the rest of it. Um, but uh, this one is £50. Pounds. Not sure if they still make this kind of thing. I, I doubt it. It's possible. Um, next up is a Runson Vera Flame Cowhide. This one is quite rare. Um, these are going to be from... Uh, I honestly don't know how old these are. It's a brown buffalo calf. Um, I'm going to estimate that they're about 50 years old, if not more. Uh, it comes in the original box. This one, the spring which holds the flint, is loose. So you need to bear that in mind. It'll need a little bit of restoration. But otherwise, it's all there. Um, so that's where that flint holder goes. So the screw is here, but it's loose. Um, so we'll need some work um, and as far as I know everything else works but again I'm selling it as a vintage item so you have to possibly do some restoration but um, as far as I recall it does work um, and given its condition this one is £50 obviously because it needs a little bit of work and the final item is another Ronson Vera Flame. And this one is fully operational in superb condition. And this one, I should say, also comes with um, the bag and instructions. And it has a little brush inside. The original sort of brush that went, came with it. And the instruction book. Very nicely kept. The box is a little bit tatty now. So it's missing the top lid. And on, on that's on the the, car, the calf hide one, the buffalo calf one that belongs to that. And this one is a very very nice piece. This one also comes with the instruction book. It also has a little bag as well. This one and a matching coloured brush. It comes with a lighter sack, bag or case or whatever you want to call it. some Vera Flame. This one is uh, black enamel. This one is in absolutely stunning condition. Um, this one I got going myself. Everything was okay with it except for the flint which I did manage to um, sort out. There are some marks here and there but it's really beautiful, beautiful lighter. It's, it's really evocative of um, which is what I think it originally the design was, was the American style cars. Um, this one's fully operational. Everything, everything works absolutely fine on it. And this one is £110. Again, another really nice collector's piece in superb condition. So there it is folks, it's been a while but um, 
That is today's sale. I'd be delighted to uh, take your um, any questions that you want. Uh, you can contact me at uh, buscopiperuk at gmail.com, as always. Um, and um, you can comment down below here if you want, but the best thing is to email me um, and t uh, tell me what you want. Um, and that is basically it. If you want, you could also contact me on Messenger on uh, Simon Bosco, B O S K O. Um, and that's it. Thanks very much, everybody. And I look forward to hearing from you. Catch you on the next one.